What's going on guys, it's your boy Farwild and I'm back with Infection Tips and Tricks. So, Infection was added to the MCC playlist a couple of weeks back and I want to share some tips with you that I've learnt from playing the Halo 2 Anniversary Infection on Warlord, which is what you're seeing here. So the first thing to notice is, is your starting weapon. In Halo 2 Anniversary, you only get a pistol, which is unlike Infection normally, where you're given like a shotgun and a pistol. So, what do you need to do? Find a shotgun. If you have watched my previous Warlord Tips videos, or you've played the game, you know that the shotgun spawns just off the yellow and green plats on the ridges toward on the ridges towards mid. That, my friend, is your main objective as spawning as a human. You get the shotgun, you are covered in close combat. If you're unlucky enough not to get the shotgun, however, as there is only two on the map, you have no fear because you can actually pick up the weapons off fallen allies. This includes the pistol, so you can dual as well as the shotgun. So if an ally gets a bit too cocky and dies, you can just run over to, it, to his dead body, pick up that shotgun and start kicking ass. In terms of where you want to go, which is normally what you want to try and focus on in Infection as a survivor, your positioning is key. And I feel that in Infection, I recommend the plats. This is because you've got line of sights to two to three spawn areas on the map, uh, two out of three spawn areas on the map. If you're standing on green plat, for example, the infected aren't going to spawn green plat. And you've got vision to blue and to red plats and yellow obviously you can't see so that's two out so you can actually see two out of the other three uh, spawn locations which is obviously a great advantage because you'd be able to get that one shot headshot pistol kill even before the rest of the game even know where they spawned so it's good to get a couple of kills in there before something I'd also like to point out with the pistol is that when you get a headshot kill the medals no longer pop up so it won't actually say if you've got a kill or not. The way you want to check is by checking in the bottom right hand corner if your and your score will go up, go up if you've got the kill. Naturally it goes, from like, it goes up in 10s, 10, 10, 20, 30. So that's enough from the survivor's point of view. What about as the infected? Well actually on Warlord it's not that difficult. It's not like um, for example Uncaged and Halo Reach where everyone would just camp in one spot and it will be basically impossible to get near them. No, because Warlord is one of the tightest and con confined maps in the game, humans won't be able to camp a location for too long. Tips from me, at the start, I'll try and bait a shotgun out by hiding under one of the plats and waiting for one of the humans to come wandering by, thinking they're about to pick up a power weapon, but bam, you've got it covered. Just pop out and sword them right in the back. Also, something else I've noticed is the sword, uh, like I wouldn't call them lunges, but like sword strikes, actually significantly quicker than they are in normal gameplay. So this actually is really helpful for the infected because it allows them to get several quick kills. If there's a clump of survivors, you can just jump up and swap about like three to four times really, really in quick succession. So it's actually really helpful from that point of view. Anyway guys, that is actually all from me. I hope you have enjoyed these tips and tricks for how to play infection on Warlord. This video took a little while to make, so it'd be great if you could give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment on what map you want to see me do next. I'm thinking of doing Dead Docks because Dead Docks is amazing for infection. If you haven't played it, it's Halo 3. I can't remember the original map, but Dead Docks is brilliant. Anyway guys, that's all from me. Like, subscribe, Twitter and Twitch, and I'll catch you guys all next time. Peace out.